Hey everyone, welcome to Kids Vids, educational videos for all you kids watching. My name is Katie and I'm going to be teaching you about food chains and food webs. So what are food chains? Food chain shows how each living thing gets food. This can include plants, animals and even humans. Animals living in the same habitat depend on each other for food. We write down which animals eat what by using a food chain. Most food chains begin with plants because they don't depend on anything but themselves to make their own food. And here is a common example of a food chain. The so grass produces its own food, then it gets eaten by rabbits, which are also eaten by foxes. So the arrows pointing in the direction the energy and nutrients are traveling. So these arrows are not meaning what eats what, okay? So the grass does not obviously not mean is eating the rabbit. It's the other way around. So the fox is eating the rabbit, which is eating the grass, okay? So parts of food chains. So here are a few names that you need to remember. So in a food chain, there will be a producer and a consumer. So within a food chain, the plant at the beginning of the food chain, so grass or lettuce or flowers, is the producer because it's making the food and it's food that something else is going to eat. All animals in the chain are consumers as they depend on eating other things. So you need to learn the difference between the prey and the predators. In food chains, it's possible to identify animals which are killed and eaten, i.e. the prey, and animals that do the killing, i.e. the predators. So the producer, the plant, is neither. So look at this food chain. Can you work out which consumers are prey and which are predators? Well, the thrush is prey for the hawk because the thrush gets eaten by the hawk. However, it's, the thrush is also a predator because it is eating the caterpillar. The caterpillar is pr pretty for the um, is um, food for the thrush. However, the caterpillar is a predator for the plant. Okay. So food chains and food webs. Of course, food chains in nature are not always so simple. When there are animals within a habitat that eat more than one thing or are eaten by more than one thing, we can make a food web. So this is what a food web looks like, okay? So things to look out for. So like a simple food chain, it all begins with a producer, which in this case is the seaweed. The squid, for example, Preys on more than one thing, so whelks and crabs. But it's also preyed on by more than one thing, so penguins and elephant seals. The killer whale has no predators, so this is the top of the food web. You can look at this web and start to imagine what could happen if something was removed from the food web. And this is also known as interruptions. So as we have learned, animals rely on each other for food in the wild. So when species start to disappear or even become extinct, the lives of many other animals can also be affected. So look at this food chain and imagine this situation. In the area surrounding these animals' habitat, local farmers have increased the amount of pesticide they spread in their fields to combat the number of pests eating their, cro eating their crops. So this has resulted in the number of crickets in this area to decline due to the chemicals in the pesticides. So can you think of the effects this could have on other animal populations in this habitat? Well, reduced number of crickets means that the toads have less food to eat. So this causes the number of toads in the area to decrease. And the reduced number of toads means that the snakes have less food to eat. So this causes the number of snakes in the area to decrease. So conclusion, the disappearance of just one species can hugely affect the entire ecosystem. 
Right, that's it for this video. I hope you liked the video and more importantly, I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching and make sure you check out my other Kids Bids videos. Take care everyone and I will see you in my next Kids Bids video.